This is a video response to Eon's agitation video regarding the government. I think most of us are pretty much aware of this dysfunctioning body of government that we have. To start off with, the great commander in chief, Mr. Bush. Fear is the only thing that the government has on its people. I don't think there's any admiration or respect, as back in the probably in the 40s and the 50s where the United States of America was considered the great U.S. of A. I think we are the great U.S. of joke. Divide and conquer. That's the only thing they're doing. Creating a division between each and every one of us. Every single one of us. As I mentioned in other videos before, blacks against the whites the whites against the Hispanics. And I could go on with all the different nationality, creed, race, and religion. If they keep us all puzzled and afraid and like a chicken with our heads cut off, they could control us. But if we united, if we finally said, wait a minute, what is wrong with this picture? Why are my tax dollars paying for people to be killed in another country for a war that we have nothing to do with? It's all about oil. Big oil companies, big buku bucks. In the meantime, there are people going to bed hungry every night in our country. Who takes care of them? Nobody. They make you believe they do. Let's look at our health care system. The insurance companies keep increasing the rates higher and higher to the point where I had to cancel my private policy for my wife and I because $700 a month is rather crazy to pay to have health insurance when I only go to the doctor but once a year. We've got major problems in this world, people. Major, major problems. And we're too worried about, oh, Paris Hilton or Britney Spears. Or how about last night's Emmy Award? Oh, yeah, oh, the hair just didn't look quite as good as uh, the outfit. Mm. Hey, we were born naked. Who cares what you wear? It's all a pipe dream, and this government is failing. For those of you with boo-boo bucks, of course it's not, because the rich are getting richer, and the poor are getting poorer. But it's okay, they're going to keep you entertained with all these stuff on TV, and, and the Britney Spears saga, and the O.J. Simpson getting put back in jail because, oopsie, now uh, committed a little arm robbery. They keep you entertained. They keep you busy so you don't think of the big picture. That, hey, you don't have enough money to pay your mortgage this month. Because the homestead taxes just went up. Or your insurance company just doubled your premium. Who takes care of that? Oh, not Mr. Bush. He's only making those rich men richer. And us poor men poor. But God forbid we were to speak out. Because we get censored. That's the way they control us all. Censoring the media, censoring what we have to say. And if we have a little too much intelligence, be careful. Because they will put you out. Anyway, just wanted to add my two cents on Ian's agitation video. And just letting you know, Ian. Crazy hair, but you have great things to say at times. Although a lot of people may not understand you, I do. I get you. Good night, folks. Pleasant dreams.